All right, what's going on, guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Amber Heard interview that she did exclusively with NBC. It is quite possibly the worst public TV interview I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this is the only public TV interview I've ever seen in my life, but it is indeed still the worst one. In case you don't know, uh, unless you were just like born yesterday or something, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were in a trial case for defamation maybe like four weeks ago. And Johnny won by a landslide. You know, it's like MJ in the finals. He, he was undefeated out there. And so Amber did what people with absolutely no respect for themselves do. And she did a public TV interview. And we're going to be going over some of the parts today because there's some that just stick out that are worse than the other parts. However, the entire thing is horrible. So I don't recommend you watch it. But we're just going to take some of the more funnier parts because, to be honest with you, it, it's more like a comedy show than a public TV interview. So, uh, yeah, let's just go over some of those parts. Oh yeah, and uh, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that, uh, first off, thank you for the support on this channel recently. It's been absolutely insane. I went from like 90 subs to like around 140, which eh, on the grand scheme of things, to most people isn't a lot. However, the fact that it took me two years to even get to 90, and then in the span of a little under two weeks, I we almost doubled in size. And I've had two videos hit 1,000 views, which is absolutely mind-boggling i mean i don't even think i've seen a thousand people in my entire life but yeah i just wanted to say that before we get into the video also i have a longer video coming like i think it's like damn near 50 minutes and it took a long ass time to make and i don't expect anybody to watch the entire thing i mean i could barely even sit through it myself when we were watching it to see if there's any editing mistakes so i don't expect anybody to actually you know sit through the whole thing and watch it however if you could give it a chance and maybe watch like five minutes of it at a time I would greatly appreciate it because I put a lot of time into it. It's a video that, like, if you like Call of Duty, it's a video that you have probably seen before. Not from me, but in on the platform in general. You've probably seen it. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, if you could give it a try, that'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, yeah, I, also, I don't even know if I said this. It comes out on probably Friday. I think I'm going to release it on Friday. It's finished, but I just want to wait till Friday to release it. And then I'll have a video similar to that one as well. I think maybe like the next day or two later. So yeah, if you guys are interested in either one of those videos, please give them a watch. I would really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, uh, enough of me rambling. Let's get on to the video. Every single day I passed for three, four, sometimes six blocks, city blocks lined with people holding signs saying burn the witch, death tip. Amber, after three and a half weeks, I took the stand and saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans. When you look into the courtroom, I see a room full of Johnny Depp fans, or well, more specifically, Captain Jack Sparrow fans. And I mean, are you at least, are you surprised by that at all? I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the biggest movie franchises of all time, and has one of the most interesting characters of all time with Jack Sparrow. I mean, like, are you surprised by that? I mean, as crazy as it sounds, people do like Jack Sparrow more than they like whoever you played in Aquaman. But either way, that shouldn't matter because in a courtroom, especially if you're on the jury, you're already unbiased or you're supposed to be unbiased because it could end up messing with the results. And one of the requirements to be on a jury is literally to be unbiased towards one of these people. So that argument or what you just said is completely stupid. But I mean, we've come to expect that from you, so I can't really say I'm surprised. This was the most humiliating and horrible thing I've ever been through. I have never felt more removed from my own humanity. Uh, yeah, it's because you lied to the jury and lied to people to try and ruin a man's life. Yeah, th there you go. Pretty simple answer to that. Let's go back to the, the day of the verdict. Were you feeling confident? <sighs> That's a great question. I wish I could say yes to that. I want to say yes to you, but it, would, it wouldn't be true. You don't want to lie to this person? Oh, but you had no problem lying to a courtroom full of people and on the internet where there's like millions and millions of people. Yeah, no problem. You had no problem lying to those people though. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you know why you weren't feeling confident when the verdict came in? Because you lied. I, I know it's, it's crazy, but you usually, if you're lying, a lot of the times you get caught, and then you don't win the case. It's kind of surprising, I know. Oh, and this this is like one of the two big parts, but this is like the biggest just what the fuck are you saying kind of shit that I have ever seen during this interview. So yeah, let's look at that. 
But then there are other times, there's another tape where you're taunting him and saying, oh, tell the world, Johnny Depp, I, a man, am the victim of domestic violence. 20 second clips or the transcripts of them are not representative of even the two hours or the three hours that those clips are excerpt from. Could your side have just put the whole three hours in then? I'm not a lawyer. Ah, oh, yeah, so all of a sudden these clips don't have any context to them. Oh, 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 really? Oh, I mean, that's crazy. You could just put like the whole three hour audio recording in then. You know, apparently if there's no context. That just might be the most stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, these things that make me look bad? Dog, there ain't no context to that, man. That was taken out of context. And then she gets thrown out this uh, this bait question, basically saying, hey, do you think Johnny Depp just had better lawyers than you? And I'll give you a second to think about what Amber had said. Do you think she said, yes, he did, or mm, no, I think the jury's just wrong? Or do you think she said, uh, mm, no, I don't think he did? I'll give you a second to think about that. Some evidence is admissible in a UK court that is not admissible in a US court. Do you think that maybe he just had better lawyers? I will say his his lawyers did a, certainly a better job of distracting the jury from the real issues. Yes, you literally said that he just had better lawyers. Dog, you're the one who hired the lawyers. I mean, it's not hard to get a better lawyer than two people who are just obsessed with saying hearsay or objection, relevance. You know, it's not hard to find better lawyers than that. Unless your name's Amber Heard, then in that case, you know, apparently it's just the hardest thing in the world. Objection. Calls for hearsay. Using this herd of told hearsay or to fight. Ms. Heard that I'll move to strike this as hearsay, Your Honor. In the closing arguments, the Depp lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. Bro, what? I actually had to run that clip back a few times because I didn't know if I was like drugged or something because there's no way that you actually just said something so brain dead. So yes, she compared a role that Johnny Depp had in the 90s to a real life defamation trial. Yeah, that's pretty brain dead. You know, there's only a few uh, ways you could actually top that answer because that was, that was a mighty fine answer, Amber. I did not see that one coming, that's for sure. I think maybe if we would have compared him to Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, him being Charlie, I think it might have been, you know, a little bit better of a response, you know. He did kidnap kids with chocolate in that movie, after all. Or you could have compared it to the, uh, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow. Pretty obvious role. He convinced the whole world he was a pirate for, like, seven movies. That's crazy, man. This is, uh, this is not only about our First Amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. Yes, exactly. You can't go into, the free speech does not protect you if you, you know, go into a crowded theater and you scream fire. We get the concept of free speech from the Greeks. My understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. But truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And then she says she lost her First Amendment right of having free speech, you know, to speak in front of the jury. However, Amber, you know, I get you're kind of uh, stupid. Uh, but you do realize you had like a whole week of where you were talking in front of the courtroom. Uh, I mean, really? What do you mean you didn't have a right to speak and you were up there for a whole week speaking? And then I don't know if like the news reporter was like sick of Amber's shit, which, you know, she, she might be. She just completely debunked that whole argument with like, yeah, this is about defamation. Not about freedom of speech. <laughs> Just completely debunks the whole entire argument. It's beautiful. Yeah, Amber, uh, First Amendment, you can't lie to make someone look bad. That's not freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is just being able to, you know, speak the truth, which is something you did not do. You took advantage of your First Amendment right to actually lie instead of tell the truth. And then I actually, I found this very rare clip. I think there's only like, maybe like one of, maybe it's a one of one in existence. But from this interview... Amber actually took responsibility for something. It's absolutely, it's, it's amazing. You have to see it because, I, quite frankly, it's pr probably the only thing she's ever admitted to in her entire life. When I asked his lawyers, why do you think you won? And the answer I got was because she never took responsibility for anything 
she did in the marriage. I did do and say horrible, regrettable things throughout my relationship. Uh, I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. There's so much, I have so much regret. So yeah, Amber Heard answers were uh, a pretty horrible to say the least. You know, it kind of reminds me of when you were in school and you had like a minimum word requirement and you just had to like talk out of your ass for like a few hundred words. That's basically what these answers are. She's just talking out of her ass at this point. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, press the buttons, do the thing. You, know, you press the button, it helps me. Two buttons actually, it helps me. You press the like and the subscribe button, that really helps me and it's free. That's, all you, that, that's nuts. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. I think I'm going to go watch Pirates of the Caribbean now to relish in victory with my boy Johnny. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.